Hi world, it's Wednesday the 6th of December. It's about 11.30 in the morning UK time. Later today there's a void moon from uh, 5.57, 3 minutes to 6 in the evening UK time until 8.38 in the evening UK time. The moon will be at the end of Cancer squaring Mars, then it will go void for mm, two and three quarter hours before it um, 22 minutes to 9 tonight UK time, the moon will move into Leo and a whole new cycle will begin. What's the betting that sometime between 5.57 to 8.38 tonight UK time, which translates as midday 57 to um, 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 3.38 in the afternoon, East Coast time in America, What's the betting that it's, that it's in that time that Donald Trump announces that the American embassy is going to be moved to Jerusalem? Jerusalem is one of the global capitals, or it was the global capital. It has been at various times in the past the centre of Hebraism, the centre of Islam, the centre of Judaism, the centre of Christianity. And it still is the global centre for all of these religions in many ways. I remember thinking as a child, what if Jerusalem didn't exist? What if Jerusalem was taken out? Would that be the end of all world religions? And I still think that was to this day in certain ways and times. Um, it's also, it, it, it encouraged me to do a little bit of research. The word Islam and Muslim come from the same root. And pre-Muhammad, pre-570 AD, Muslim people did not worship gods or any particular omnipotent being. Instead, they worshipped things like the stones, the trees, the jinn and the ifrit, which uh, were similar to the Western concordance of things like fairies and elves and pixies. Um, it seems that every form of religion comes from the same root. It does seem that originally there would have been just one book around about two to 3,000 years ago. The Old Testament, the Quran, the Talmud, all of this seems to have the same origin. And I suggest it's just a bunch of old men in skirts who are um, trying to sort of differentiate this to grab power for themselves. And every religion breaks down into subsects and subcults, all of whom preach the only truth. And they're all just sort of a waste of time and energy. The true God and Goddess are, are those that shine on us from the sky with the sun and the moon. But that's my astrological opinion. I suspect that today is a day where there's going to be quite a bit of revelation. Mars is about to leave Libra and move into Scorpio in the next few days. And that's going to create quite a sort of hectic energy, especially, incidentally, around the very start of January when Mars and Jupiter become conjunct in the middle of Scorpio. Also today, Mercury right now is retrograde, exactly conjuncting Saturn in the sky, literally in this next couple of hours. So today does seem to be a day where there's a lot of news around. And I urge you all individually not to buy into any of the hype and spin that's going on because it is hype and spin. It is not real. And anything that's being done now on this Mercury retrograde is not going to work out the way it's expected. I do feel we're heading into quite a dangerous time, but then that's the nature of the times we live in. I do feel that over the coming few weeks from now through to the mid-January, we are living in exciting and dangerous times. And um, especially with the Mercury retrograde at the moment, it's quite contentious, some of the things that are happening now. And I, don't, I just don't believe any of it, whether it be coming from the mouth of Trump or whether it be coming from the European Union or whether it be coming from the Pope about the Rohingya. There's just a lot of hype and spin around at the moment. and I urge people not to buy into it. Also, on a completely separate note and something for the astrologers amongst you. A few weeks ago, I accidentally, although there's no such thing as accident with astrology, I synchronistically just opened my ephemeris and opened my software on a particular date. I've even forgotten the date. It was either the 13th or the 20th of October 2020. It was the time of the Grand Conjunction, and it was the exact opposition of the Sun to Mars square everything in Capricorn. And I remember saying to, to, to all of you out there, what do you think? And a large number of you, about 20 of you, emailed me with your ideas. And I will do stuff on this because there's some really good stuff here. 
Thing is, this happened again yesterday. Someone pointed me looking at May next year. Now, those of you who watch my videos daily or regularly will know that I've already pinpointed May next year as a time of major change, especially in Britain. There's going to be a time next year, in May next year, where over the space of seven days, there's a new moon and five planets change sign. In the space of just under 72 hours, three major planets change sign and there's a new moon. This is all happening in ways that are very, very significant to members of the British royal family. I do intend to do a video in the very near future on the coming marriage of Prince Harry. And I do think that it'd be really interesting. Anyone who wants to do, uh, who wants to look at the horoscope for the new moon, I think it's May the 15th or 16th, 2018, it's going to be a really interesting chart to look at. And I shall be doing stuff on that. Next May, middle of May, second week of May, end of the second week of May next year. You heard it here first. Watch this space. Meantime, right now, Moon's in Cancer. It goes void around three minutes to six tonight for two and a half hours. Then the Moon's in the completely different energy as of tomorrow. Catch you later, world. Bye.